Hey guys, I'm Autumn. And I'm Salem. With Hybrid coming up, we wanted to give you a quick tour around the school just so you know what to expect. So right before we start our video, uh, we wanted to remind you about a couple of things about the school. So we highly encourage you to travel to your classes as outside as much as possible to minimize interactions. All of our front doors will be open, so finding the closest one to your class will be preferred. Also, Beaverton High School is a closed campus, so you can't leave during lunch. And if you have to use the bathroom, try and find the closest one to your classroom. So right now we're at the main entrance, but we're gonna go ahead to the Merrill Davis building. So right now we're at the flagpole, which is a great area to be dropped off or picked up by your parents and also a good hanging spot for your friends. So right now we're at Merle Davies, which has some of our world language, social studies, and graphic design classes. So let's go ahead in. After entering Roll Davies, the classes one through eight will be to your right and anything above eight will be to your left. This first long stretch will be all your social study classes. Welcome to World Language Hallway. This is where you can find classes for specific languages. And this is our Japanese class. And this is our French class. And for the rest of the hallway, anything on this side will be our Spanish classes. This is the hallway where you'll find a lot of our business and technology classes and is also the end of Merle Davies. So if you exit Merle Davies next to classroom number one, you'll end up next to the cafeteria. After exiting the Merle Davies building, you could head over to the cafeteria. So this is our cafeteria. It's gonna look a little bit different this year. We highly recommend you to stay pretty consistent of where you sit, and in a little bit we'll show you our seating arrangement that we have planned. So this is what the seating arrangement's gonna look like. We're gonna have two people at each table. We have little stickers to show where to sit. We highly encourage you to sit on the chairs and not the actual stickers. And then we also highly encourage you to eat outside. We could go out into the field or we have a few tables, but the stadium is off limits. So right now we're in the upper cafeteria and to the right of me is the pond, which is our student store. And behind me is our leadership and marketing classes. So right behind me is the sky bridge and we can go through it to the main building. Now that we've crossed the sky bridge, we're gonna go through the Big Brown Hall. So this is part of Big Brown and this is the Lit Hall. And here you can find our year lit classes and the entrances to the balcony of the gym. So over here we have a women's bathroom and also a sophomore entrance to the main gym for assemblies. And if you go down the stairs, that is going to be where our lower lit hall is. And over here we have the men's bathroom and the entrance to the main gym for freshmen for assemblies. And if you go down the stairs, there's the lower lit hall. Here in the upper lit hall is our athletic office, which you could talk to the athletic director if you have any sports related questions. So after the sky bridge, you can either go down the lit hall, which we just showed, or you can keep going straight to our science hall. As you guys are going through the hallways, make sure you stay following the arrows, stay six feet apart, and stay on the right side of the hallway. And this is our science hall, which holds our biology, physics, and chemistry classes. At the very end of the hall, you'll see a staircase, which leads you down to the health careers and special education classes. So this is the end of the big brown hallway, and if you keep going this way, you can find the math hallway, and we have some science and ELD classes in here. And as you can see, our leadership has taken some time to brighten up the hallways. Okay, go ahead and check out some of our compliments. So after exiting Big Brown, if you take a right, this is where the math hall is. Okay, now that we've shown you the above half of the school, we're gonna show you the lower half. 
So this is one of the entrances to the auditorium and the hallway that we're in is all of the 150 classes. So right here at this intersection, you can find the health hallway and you can also go either this way or this way to go to the performing art classes. Okay, so this is the performing arts hall and as you can see we have our drama, band, and choir rooms and it's also another entrance to the auditorium. Up these stairs is another way to get to the math hall as well. So this is the Pepsi room which a lot of drama kids use to prep for shows. So right now because of COVID, we have a limit of how many people are allowed in our bathrooms. So make sure to check at the doors before you enter. And if there's more people than allowed, make sure to stay at the dots. So this is the counselor's office. If you're having any troubles with your schedule or need to talk to someone, going to your counselor would be a great option. Across from the counseling office, you can find the College and Career Center, which is where you can find information about scholarships and colleges for your future. Our water fountains are available to use, but we highly encourage you to use a water bottle and you can fill it up at our water stations. So when you enter the school from the main entrance, you can find the main office, which is where you can ask questions about the school and also the student center and the library if you need to check out a book or need help with your Chromebook. Just so you guys know, as of right now, the student center and the library are closed, so you guys can't go into them. So up these stairs is a good way to get to a big brown. As we talked about in the science hall earlier, those staircases are another way to lay down this hall, which is where our health careers and special education classes are. We're gonna go to the lower lit hall. Up these stairs is where the upper lit hall is, and right behind me is the men's locker room for if you have PE. So right in the middle of the lit hall, you can find the main gym, and if you go through the back of it, you can find the back gym, wrestling gym, and the weight room. So through those doors back there is where you can access three of the gyms that we talked about. If you guys want to access the West Annex, you guys can go from the main entrance and take a left all the way down there. This is the West Annex where you can find your ceramics, painting, art classes, and even some engineering ones. So that wraps up the end of our tour video. We hope you have a fantastic year. Peace out, beeves.